Students in the Boston Public Schools begin their new year next week with grades 1 through 12 starting on Wednesday. Joining us for some information about what's new and help with getting started is our guest, the Interim Superintendent, John McDonough. Thank you very much for being with us, John. Thanks, Chris. Great to be here. One of the first things people have to uh, worry about at the beginning of the school year is uh, where is the bus and is it running on time? And I guess you have some way of uh, helping parents figure that out. You know, Chris, we have a great new application that's now available to all families throughout the city. It's called Where's My School Bus? And parents will have the opportunity to sign into the site and identify where the bus that their child is um, at any point in the route. So we hope that it is yet another effort of increasing our investments in transportation service. I think you know we have gone to a new contract management company, Veolia, Tra Veolia Transportation. So we've made additional investments in technology, additional investments in professional development for our drivers. Um, all with the goal of ensuring that students are safe, that they are delivered to school on time, um, and that their extended day on the school bus is part of a positive school experience. What about the number of students? Uh, I guess that's still going up as it has been recently? Yeah, uh, I think we're really in a fortunate position, um, even in this very competitive environment of school choice. We're expecting over a thousand new students to come into Boston Public Schools next year. So our enrollment will be up over 58,000 and um, we are challenged operationally um, but I think in delighted to welcome all the new families uh, into BPS. We've worked throughout the summer to ensure that classrooms are ready, furniture is there, curriculum materials are ready. Um, and we're ready to welcome them. And uh, we had a great time at Countdown to Kindergarten the other day. Hundreds of families came out. We've been working hard to make sure that they and their children are ready to come into BPS. Many of the new students uh, have learning disabilities, so you had to make sure that they got the right kind of facilities. And I imagine just finding the room as well, that, that was a challenge. That's been an extraordinary challenge. And I think we have addressed it appropriately for this year. Um, but as you know, we'll be looking at a longer term strategic facilities master plan that we're working on now. It will roll out in the fall. Um, and we really need to assess what's the situation with where we have capacity, where we have over capacity in certain facilities, and where are we stretched by meeting increased demand for what are now overchosen school sites. Right. So, Chris, what's also proceeding is attempts to turn around some of the underperforming schools. I know of at least one example uh, at the Marshall School in Dorchester, there's, there's a new operator essentially. So uh, I, any, anything else we should know about um, some new developments as far as turnarounds in the system? Um, well, we do currently have um, actually in school now, we have four schools operating even right now the two Unlocking Potential Academies, the new one that is opened in Dorchester. The Clapp Innovation School is already open. Um, we continue to look at opportunities to expand flexibilities for schools at the school level. Um, part of the mayor's legislation to extend the flexibilities for turnaround schools to some of our level three schools is still in discussion with the legislature. We know that strong leaders able to build effective teams is really one of the keys to success for increasing um, student performance in our schools. Of course, the other thing that some people um, would hope to see some improvement in, and they've been waiting for years, and that's from Madison Park, uh, the Vogue Tech Schools. So any, anything new that they can look forward to this coming year? So I think you know that the uh, governor and the mayor uh, came out in the springtime and presented a vision for collaboration between Madison Park, Roxbury Community College, that would provide students at Madison Park with a five-year experience at the end of which they would have a high school diploma 
an associate degree, and a certification in a field of trade. People have been working throughout the summer. We are on schedule to uh, launch our first cohort of students in this process. Uh, we've been working closely with Secretary Malone in order to ensure that this moves forward successfully. We're very excited about it. It is an opportunity to ensure that our educational offerings are in line and supported by those industries where employment is, is, is projected to grow in the future. And uh, finally, we should mention that if problems uh, come up or questions come up, parents can always call the hotline. We have our hotline. It is up and running. So anybody who has a problem, uh, please call the hotline. It's 617-635-9046. Thank you very much for being with us. Wish you the best with the school year. Thank you very much. Interim Superintendent from the Boston Public Schools, John McDonough.